And I'm very interested in Summer League this year. Last year, not so much. This year, uh, very much so because you have not only all of the Knicks draft picks this year will be playing. Jacob Toppin will also be playing. Uh, Rokash Yakubaitis will be playing. However, today it was announced that there are rumors that even though he will be on the team, he could be transferring from Barcelona to Zalgiris, which is a club in Lithuania. But anyway, he's on the team as well. Um, very much looking forward to seeing what Kolik has to offer. Pakom Dadie, who the Knicks bought out for almost a million dollars. So clearly they have big plans for him. Potentially in their rotation, whether it's the G League or, you know, to, to, to orchestrate his buyout. I think the Knicks see something from him that maybe he can contribute. Maybe a little bit this year, maybe next year. But they got plans for him. And then you got Kolik, you got Hawk Porty as well. I'm li- I like how this roster looks, man. Who you say they, have, they got plans for? Dottie. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was the, he was their first pick, and <laughs> you 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 made the point there because he said it from his first interview. I'm not like going. I'm first not word. <laughs> Yo, I ain't going. No, I'm here. So at the time, people were making jokes because people were like, "Slow down, Rook." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You don't override the front office. I don't know if you've talked to Leon yet. And yet, when you see what's transpired since and where we are today, maybe they already knew. Maybe there was discussions. And there is a plan for this youngster to get some um, some playing time at some point. Uh, because although he's so young, you know how it is, CP, in this era now with the six eight six nine wing. Like, teams want to expedite the development process of those players. Just because it's at a premium. Yeah. So once you have that player, yes, you want to develop him, but you don't want to just stash him for five years. You want to use that ability. <laughs> that, that's that's why you drafted him so that you don't have to spend assets to go out in the trade market to get the next six, eight, six, nine guys. So once you have them, you want to expedite that development process and you want to expedite the evaluation. I mean, is this guy does he does this guy have a skill set that we can um, develop and and put out on the NBA floor? Uh, you want to get to know that as soon as possible, especially when you are where the Knicks are now, where you're going to decide, is he a part, a piece that we can use off the bench, like a Christian Braun at some point for the Nuggets, some of these young players that get included, or is he a piece that we can use for a trade chip in a season or two? Like either or, you you want to get those evaluations. So I'm excited. Is he the, is he the player you're, you're most looking forward to yes. in the roster? The, him and Kolick. Him and Kolek. Now, mm. according to Fred Katz, which you had to expect, Kevin McCullough is is not going to play because he's still rehabbing. He did he did get hurt late, so had to expect that he wasn't going to play. But yeah, the two guys who, if if this Roka stuff is true, then it's 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 Kolek and Dottie, man, and and Huck Porty, because does Huck Porty surprise enough where because this this team still doesn't have a, a true backup center right now. Precious hasn't been signed yet. What's up with that? That seems to be taking mad long. Like, what what's going on with the Precious thing? Mm, interesting, right? Very interesting. So, you know, does this guy have something? A lot of people are, are, are hyping him up. A lot of people like him. So I'd like to see what, what he what he's about. He's gonna I wonder who who on Charlotte will be playing at the five. But I would have to think going into this, he's gonna be starting at the five for the Knicks. You you mean oh on you mean on the Charlotte real team or the summer league team? Summer league team. I don't think Mark mm-hmm. will, Mark Williams will be playing again, would he? Unless unless ninety they like, seconds. Unless nah, they feel like he needs nah, work. because Mark Williams has had some back issues, so okay. I don't think I don't think they're gonna put him on the summer league. All right, there you go. Um, or or maybe maybe it's your boy Jacob Toppin playing the five. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, you don't want to keep the discussion of a topic not getting minutes. Oh we can God, keep doing man. that. Obi's not here, but his brother's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so it's definitely those three, man. Pac Home, it's it's Kolik, it's it's Huck Porty. Let's go with it, man. They're, they're what's, also, what's up with yeah. Rokas, man? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with him? I don't know. I just just seems like opportunity's just not there yet, man. 
I mean, let's see what happens because if they make a move, yeah. card goes. You know, I've heard you know Deuce and Nick Richards and different things being discussed. Maybe they go late in the season, they change things up and say, hey, you know, we need, you know, we need you for guard depth. But that's why they also drafted uh, Kolek. So, but it's just, it's like at some point, that's why he might be, um, he might be low key one of my most in, uh, interesting guys that I'm going to look at just because I just want to see where he's at today and if yeah. it's NBA caliber. Like, it, yeah. is this even a discussion? Like, I'm saying today, What's going to happen tomorrow? I might be like, okay, no wonder. Just keep him over there. So, like, I just want to see is the, he worth, you know, having these discussions about, like, you know, do you want to come to the NBA or not? And, yeah. and also, and I can also understand from his standpoint, maybe he does want to come to the NBA, but he just doesn't see an, a, 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 a lane to play in minutes because right. of, you know, Tom Thibodeau and obviously Brunson with the Max and then Kolek as a draft pick, Deuce. You know, but I, I just want to see where his skill set is at today versus some, you know, sort of NBA caliber players. Okay, I did I did find the, the Rokas tape. All right, when was this? This was two years ago. This is two years ago, uh, August 6, 2021, um, Summer League. And here was Rokas with the with the media. I, I sat in on this one and, and got to, to ask Rokas a question. Let me see where, where my question is at here. Let me see if this is it. Hang on. Here we go. Casey Powell. Oh, there we go. There we go. R- Rokas, what, what do you think will be the biggest adjustment you'll need to make at the NBA level? Um, the biggest ad- adjustments uh, I would need, I think, you know, the, the like, uh, aggressiveness, uh, contact level, uh, like, speed of basketball is uh, higher than in Europe. So, like uh, in these few practices, I saw that uh, like uh, where where I can be better uh, because the tempo and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not used to that, but you know, like uh, playing uh, in this uh, system, like uh, uh, I would need uh, some time. But uh, I think I I would improve and 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 I will improve. And yeah, I think uh, we will see in summer league what uh, what I need uh, more uh, to be uh, in a top league in the world. But yeah, right now as I can see, like this, uh, I'm not used to that speed, uh, ag- aggressiveness, and uh, like uh, yeah. All right, so that was Rokas's answer, man. Needed to get used to the speed and the aggressiveness. And let's Great see. job! Great let's job, see, man. Let's My see. man. My man CP asks what they call that was evergreen content. Absolutely. Asked the question that, you know, two years ago, two mm. years later, we're still trying to find the answer. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. And I think he is too by, by coming out here, coming out to Vegas again to play. I believe that when he did play, he played like two games and no, it was Vildoza that got hurt. I don't remember what happened, Rokas. He didn't play the entire summer league though. Right. He yeah. played a few games. Yeah. He, he had a couple threes. He showed flashes. Yeah. Yeah. Some flair, some little go around tragic movements. Yeah. Uh, and then you saw some of that speed at times, um, you know, kind of him making an adjustment. So, you know, a couple seasons later, let's see how he, you know, he looks tomorrow and then and this summer league. And will he play all games as well? Right. It's another thing to look forward to. Right. Exactly. Especially if they don't think he, they got plans for him. He might not even play. I could imagine maybe Kolek gets even more playing time over him. We got to see yeah. what the politics looks like with that. Who's going to mm. start? Who's who starts? Who's, the, who, who starts? Who, who, who runs the offense? Tomorrow? Who's who's running the show tomorrow? I low key with Kevin McCullough. I think they both start tomorrow. Oh well, yeah, that's true. I think you'll see Rokas, Kolek, Hakporty, Paco, and Toppin. Mm. Okay. If McCullough was there, it would have been interesting because he's a draft pick. So now you would yeah. think if he, McCullough was there, he would have to play the two and who's your one. But with him out, you got you got the main players. You got five of them. Kind of reminds yeah. me of a few seasons where you had McBride, Sims. Uh, uh, you had Quickly. And, and, and you, like, you had all five. It wasn't like the greatest five, but you have five players and the Knicks just started them all. I think you may see something similar like that tomorrow. But who runs the offense? Who runs the that's, offense? 
They can play together, but who's bringing the ball up the court? I'm I'm locked in, definitely locked in. And I have um. So this was done. This was a remote press conference. So it was me, Bondi from from the Post at the time. He was Daily News. Steve Popper, Newsday. Uh, Vork and all from the athletic when he was covering the Knicks at the time. And look at Berman. Look, Ber- Berman looked like he can't he can't figure out the, his webcam because you got half of Berman's <laughs> head in the shot. <laughs> Berman trying to figure out where he's at. Ber- at this point, Berman said, "Yo, I got to retire, man. What's up with all of this, man? Back in the days, I was using a tape recorder. Now I got to do all this t- computers and webcams." Berman looking flustered over there. <laughs> I-, I think that was the moment he realized I got to take my ass to Florida. I'm done. I'm I'm done with this, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, shout out to Burby, man. He's, he's still lobbing grenades over the fence. I love it. You know, retired and all. He's still he's still uh reporting things from from South Florida. So, definitely shout out to him. Um for everybody headed to Summer League once again, uh the KFTV Knicks Film School meetup is going to be on Sunday this Sunday. Uh, 8.30 p.m. Pacific time at the Tilted Kilt. CP the franchise, Jonathan Macri, our friend at, K, uh, at Knicks Film School. Uh, 3545 Las Vegas Boulevard. It's in the Link Promenade. In the Link Promenade, the Tilted Kilt. Meet us there. Classy joint, 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. We'll see y'all there, man. Looking forward to seeing everybody out there. And, uh, and we'll get to catch... Some summer league action. I think CK2K is on the way out there as well. And there it is. Isaiah Ellis, what's the emphasis in summer league? Wins or developments? Definitely development. Definitely development. And and a tryout for some guys. You know, if they can impress. Maybe that that leads to a training camp invite. I don't think wins really matter as, it, as much as, you know, how the guys look in, in terms of how they play. So, and shout out to Coach to Coach Yashimoto as well. Good guy as well, man. Shout out to Dice. 